Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Andrea Majeski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So you might be wondering, when should you start to study for the board exam? So this applies to dental hygiene students and dental assisting students as well. When I took the board exam, I remember it like it was yesterday for dental assisting specifically, and I do remember for dental hygiene too. So for dental assisting, I probably studied about three or four months in advance, but it was because I had a busy school schedule and I worked evenings. So I didn't really have a lot of time to study, so I wanted to study far enough in advance so that I could do a little bit every single day, like an hour, two hours at nighttime, and that's it. Whereas I didn't want to be studying like five or six hours a day because I just didn't have time for that. I was still in school. I had to work and on weekends I wanted to have some fun, right? I became an, a dental assistant at age 19, so I was still young. But for dental um, hygiene, it was pretty much the same thing though. I was in, in school all day. Um, I was living in Toronto, so I worked in the evenings too. Not every evening, but almost every evening. Um, but I did study on the weekends as well because the dental hygiene board exam, I just kind of felt like it was a more intense board exam. Plus, I had a job waiting for me literally the day after I passed. So no pressure, but I kind of had to pass. So I was really, really doing as much as I could. So I did study three or four months prior. And that's what I tell all of my students when they ask me. If they say, when should I start to study for the board exam? I say, if you can, study four months prior, three months is okay too. But I do also tell those students who are coming to me a month before they take the exam and say, I'm starting to study now, what should I do? So if you're literally studying a month before, there is still hope, don't worry, but you do have to study every day. I'm talking five hours every single day, okay? Two hours to six hours at the most, but if you're studying a month before and you just started, study five hours every single day. But that's where it gets tricky because life gets in the way, right? One day you might be sick, but if you take that day off before the month before the exam and you don't study, you're in trouble. I'm being honest, but you will be in trouble. Or let's say your sister has a full birthday weekend um, and you don't have time to study because you're out of town. You know, who wants to lug their textbooks everywhere? Too bad, you are going to have to because if you left it for a month before the exam, you have to be studying every day, okay, every day. But if you were smart, you know, sorry, I have to say that, but if you were, were smart, and you have three or four months before the exam, if your sister's having a birthday weekend, take it off. You need a break, okay? Because you have been studying as much as possible beforehand, and heck, you have four months left, so two days or three days is not going to harm you, right? Um, let's say you are sick for a whole week. Don't study, focus on getting better because if you start to study four months before the exam, you have time, right? Because life gets in the way. Either you are sick, someone else is sick, you have kids, you have to take care of them, you have pets. They might be sick, you have to take care of them. Your best friend's moving and needs your help. You're moving, maybe you're getting married, maybe it's, it's Christmas, maybe it's Thanksgiving, maybe it's Halloween, maybe it's summer. You know, life gets in the way, so study in plenty of time. And if you need help in my full course, um, the Board Exam Prep Academy, you will now have eight months full access. So remember how I said, four months or three months before the exam is a good idea to start to study. Well, I take it a step further and you have a full eight months access. So sign up now because why not? You can study a little bit every single day or even study a little bit every Friday night and that's it or Monday morning or whatever, right? But with the full eight months access to everything, you have nothing to lose because you have everything. Study a little bit at a time so it's a lot easier for you. You have full access to all of the mock exams, all of the case studies, all of the modules. We do live tutoring about three times a month, sometimes four. Um, there's a private um, Facebook group also. So you have full access to all of that. And for a limited time, um, I'll put the link on the bottom there in the uh, description. For a limited time, you have full access also for free 
all of the 2016 and, and, and 2017 um, session recordings. So all of our sessions, <coughs> sorry, my dog's barking. Hold on guys. Of course the mailman's here. Sorry guys, I probably should have clicked pause, but I didn't think about that at the time. Tom is home, so he was able to answer the door, but I apologize if you guys can hear my dogs barking. I have three dogs, so sorry if you guys can hear that. Um, but let me think, what was I saying? I think I was talking about full access to the 2016 and 2017 recordings, I believe, right? So you guys have full access to all of that for free. And you might be thinking, well, that's kind of old news, like 2016, 2017, but not really. Because if you guys have your textbooks from school, they're probably at least five years old, right? But all of that same stuff will be on the board exam. So why not utilize as much as possible and I'm including them for free for a limited time though you guys so this will not be for forever um, usually I charge for that package so the 2016 and 2017 videos two hundred dollars plus so you get full access to all of that for free when you when you um, sign up for the board exam prep Academy plus all mock exams all um, modules all tutoring everything so it's really really nice and I do have a 100% satisfaction guarantee so if you do not pass your exam after tutoring with me you will have the full course again free of charge so you do not have to have to pay for anything the second time so I hope that helps it should you might as well sign up make it so much easier for you trust me you will feel so much more confident and so much less stressed out so if you guys have questions let me know and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one